Yo, what's going on everybody? Chokagami here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be driving the Scania 143M500 in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So to start things off, let's go ahead and we will crank the truck up. Alright, there we go. There's the beautiful sound of the Scania V8 engine we have in here. Let's go ahead and we will put her in first gear, release the parking brake, and get on out of the service station. Not service station, rest stop, whatever you want to call it. Service station, rest stop, fuel stop. Whatever you guys want to call it. Let's go ahead, we'll get out of here. Oh, let's turn the lights on. Oh man, I'm lucky I did that. Could have gotten a headlight violation. Let's see, are we already in, let's see. Fourth gear, all right, there we go. So, a uh, little bit about the truck. Uh, Scania 143M. Um, the one on the Steam Workshop, I will say, that one does have some major defects on it. And I don't think it's currently up to date with ATS, or not ATS, ETS2. 149 the one i have uh i will try to provide a link in the description this is you know i've had this installed for a while i will try to find a link that i got it from um and put it in the description for you guys but um yeah this one's pretty cool it's got loads of customization um i would have customized it more but i wanted more of you know like a classic truck feeling if you get what i'm saying i don't want you know like a show truck you know kind of looking thing I want, you know, something that actually looks like the era that it was from, which this thing is, I believe, from the 90s, if not the 80s, somewhere around there. Anyways, in the 80s and 90s, you guys get what I'm saying. They didn't have the, you know, excessive overhaul of the trucks, or at least um, must not have been, you know, what they had today, which was, you know, what some of the options were. So I didn't put them on there. And um, let's see, what are we hauling today? We are hauling motorcycles, 16 tons. Oh, I forgot to hit the splitter up. Hopefully that won't cause us uh, damage in the long term. There we go. I'll get that checked out after this delivery here. We are gonna be running this full delivery. Um, it was, I think, a thousand kilometers. We only have 300 left or so, and it does include a ferry. So I would say maybe, 100 kilometers of driving it's not far at all um it is getting to be night but it's not gonna get pitch black like it does in america because i believe we are in sweden actually i know we are in sweden right now we are exploring scandinavia uh, we're heading to denmark i believe alborg yeah alborg all right let's see let's get that out of the way let's go ahead and we will turn left onto the um uh, freeway here is it the freeway the autobahn what do you guys call it let's go ahead and we will get on to here that was that turn was a little wider than it needed to be but you know you can never be too safe let's go ahead fourth gear trying not to get too fast through here these are some narrow on ramps all right we'll floor it now even though we can only get up to 80 on here. Can't go too terribly fast, and I don't know, understand why. I still don't. You know, I've had Euro trucks since 2019, and I still don't understand why trucks only go 80 kilometers an hour, that is. And I just don't understand why. You know, it's like 50, 55 miles an hour. I mean, I get it, the roads are narrower, but also, if the trucks are smaller to go with it, then I feel like they should be able to go maybe 100 or so. I don't know. Maybe there's some other factors, or maybe, you know, the trucks aren't as small as they should be in order to go 100 kilometers an hour. Anyways, um, more about the truck here. This truck is very nice. We've got a little little dog on there. I believe that is, what, a boat over there? Some sort of boat over there on the dash. Um, we've got, oh, so we've got a radio in here, CB. We've got you know, infotainment, not infotainment, just kind of just information up there 15 celsius and then the time which it is 11 p.m right now can you guys believe this is it, it is 11 p.m and it's this light out now in america it would be pitch black there would be you know no noises no nothing you wouldn't be able to see anything without light not the case over here which is part of why i like your truck you go to places that you know you might not ever get to visit in real life 
like this. And, you know, Iceland, it's even more crazy. You know, it could be 2 a.m. and it could be completely light outside. I don't, I'm not a fan of these uh, blue and yellow signs, I must say. They do look a little awkward. One thing I really do like about Europe the yield signs don't have to stop just have to yield which I really like over the um, stop signs which are commonly in America and uh, by the way we are on pro mods I believe 2.68 I want to say that or 2.69 um, is a nice map mod the nicest map mod you could ever have for your truck and um, a lot of, I'm guessing a big reason why people don't have it is either A, the, probably the biggest reason they don't have the map DLCs, B, they, um, they don't know how to install it because it can get a little confusing, or C, uh, their computer cannot run your truck much at all. Should probably get, pay attention more on the road here. Let's see, we are good. By the way, if anybody's wondering how I am looking around, this is the Toby iTracker 5. I will have a link to that in the description below. It is a beautiful, beautiful invention uh, instead of, you know, just using the mouse to look around, which I think is kind of lame. And, um, yeah. Um, the truck, oh man. We gotta get some external clips of this thing. This thing is top of the line. See the engine brake? Not the loudest engine brake in the world. Not like, you know, the normal Scania V8 engine brake that you would normally hear. Got road construction up here. Go down to 30. Oh, we might want to hit our brakes here. Come on, go into gear. There we go. Couldn't find a gear there. Now, once we get to our destination, I don't know how it's going to go because I am horrible at backing up. And um, those who, you know, normally watch me on the channel will know what I'm talking about. I cannot back up a trailer, at least an ATS. And Euro Truck, it's a little easier since, you know, they are cab over. Oh! Oh, it's flashing yellow. I thought it was about to turn red. Started sweating there. Getting nervous. So we're about to get a citation. See, I believe we should be getting close to the ferry here. This is a lot of driving. I thought it was going to be less. See, how long do we have? 239. But that does include the ferry, so... Probably got quite, oh, quite some distance. More driving, less talking. That's what I need to start doing. But also, I know I know you guys like it when I do talk, so that's what we're gonna do here today. Oh, I love this bridge. I think that I rec I might recognize this bridge. This bridge seems familiar. I think this is something like, um, see, where are we on the map? Oh, this isn't the bridge that I was talking about. I was thinking of, uh, what bridge was I thinking of? I was thinking of this bridge down here. Now, that's a nice bridge. This is a different one. Our dogs are just bouncing around there. I love it. Going a little speedy. See, our exit is up ahead, so we should probably start slowing down, turn on the engine brake. There we can hear it a little bit. Just had to turn up the volume. The intensity, rather. I like how many lights are on the dash, like... You know, engine brake, it even gives you a light when you need to shift up. It's awesome, I love it. One thing I also, I mean, I don't want to say I like it, 
but I also don't want to say that I hate it, is the, the indicator. It's the same for both left and right. So that's left, and that's right. It can be kind of, you know, it can get on my nerves sometimes, but also it's kind of a saving of space on the dash for more important details. See, there's the light there that tells me you know, that I need to shift up. Speed limit 70. I don't think we'll have much driving to do after the ferry, you know. Once the ferry, once we go over the ferry, we won't have much. See, what's this? Is that pizza? It's pizza! Oh, I could really use some pizza. Actually, I didn't have, uh... I just had pizza for dinner tonight. I don't know why I said that. I had a ton. Get into the left lane here. And we will be turning left up here. Right then. Both ways. And let's see, how do we get into here? Do we just follow this road? I'm th I think we just follow this road, I'm not sure. Unless we come in here. Oh, there's a little bit of bump. Do we go this way? If we look on the map. Yeah, we go this way. I think there was, must have been a turn somewhere earlier that we missed. We're gonna cut through here. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, there's not, not a gate. Oh, come on. Why'd you have to put a gate there? I don't know what is with my accent in this video. Like, excuse my accent, please, but I do not normally sound like this. I am American. I don't know why I sound like I am somewhere else. Let's see. I really hope we don't have to drive all the way around. Guys, I've, I've found it. I have found it. it. We've run over it. We've run directly over it. All right, put it in reverse. I can even see it in the mirror. I don't know why it honked, but we will reverse. I can't believe we've been driving around it this whole time. There we go. All right, park and brake, lights off, truck off. All right, let's have us a great night. Let's see, where are, we are going, we're going here. Embark. I've always enjoyed the pro mods loading screen. You know, all the, all the beautiful pro mod stuff. Of course, it's all beautiful. It's starter back up, lights on. I don't know why I have the, why do I have the high beams on? Well, somehow I didn't think that it was the default key binding, which it was. Let's see, how long do we have left? 93 kilometers. Not far. Let's see. Now, back to the truck. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I would definitely check this out. There is a little bug that I did figure out, which we can get to at the end, if I can remember. Um, if I don't remember, Please do let me know and I will um, make a comment in this video and I will pin it um, just so you guys are aware of the bug. And like I say, I will try my best to have a link to it in the description because this thing I think is amazing. We've already got 370 Ks on it, almost 400. I love the sound of this thing. Well, the sky's looking nice today. I do like the sky. See what's the speed limit here? 80. Ah, oh, why's it gotta come down? 
I gotta say, that coast does look beautiful. Look at that. That coast is gorgeous. I must say. You know what? Screw the 70 speed limit. We're doing 80. Screw the speed limit. Let's see, what time do they want this? Tuesday by 9.22 a.m. Pretty decent for expectations of us being there, as far as time goes. I like how all the traffic's in the other lane. It's all on the other side of the road. Well, there's one car, but there's barely any on our side of the road. That dog's still there. It's just chilling. I think on stream, um, Manny, one of our moderators, Manny, he named it uh, Good Dog Trademark, which I think is an interesting name for a dog. Very interesting indeed. All right, well, whoa, yeah, zooming. We'll get over for them, even though we probably don't need to. See, is there anyone else? No? Well, there's a guy back there, but he'll have plenty of room. Well, here comes the traffic. Oh, you know, stay in our lane here. Let's see. Our house, our house, whatever it is. I don't know how to say these names. I've always thought it's, you know, Alborg Zoo. Well, that was an interesting sign. Maybe we could go there someday. Um, as an American, trying to pronounce some of these European names can get quite tricky. Um, like Arhus, Arhos, how do you say it? Arhus, uh, how, how do you say that? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Alborg, is it Alborg? Alborg? You never know. Could be something completely different that I've never heard of. Let's see, how long do we have left? Oh, 23 kilometers, so not long at all. I believe this is our exit, actually. It is. Alborg. Alborg C. C is for Chocat. It's our exit. Literally named after us. Our initials have been placed on the sign. Get up, come on. All right. All clear. I would think there'd be people here. But also, you know, not necessarily downtown. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh! Well, what wouldn't be one of my videos if we didn't have a violation or if we didn't go on the sidewalk. Never try that in real life. Never try to beat the red lights. Not safe. See, I think our destination is this place right here. Is that Ikea? I think it is. Oh, I don't, I don't think it says. Oh, Norwegian. This is where we're going. Norwegian. Let's turn on into here. Come on. Oh, I think we'll be able to back this one in. No problem. No problem at all. All right. Let's see, even though I'm slightly sick, I think I should still be able to do this.
Hopefully, I can. Use that little spot mirror. I can just vaguely see the cones in that little mirror. Or at least I could. Let's get out and look. Let's get out of the truck and take a look. Oh, look, we are right on track. Although we do, we might have to pull up a little bit. All right, let's put it in reverse all the way to the right. See, can we do it? Oh, uh, let's pull up. Don't want to risk it. I like to take a lot of risks, but not that one. Let's try it from here. Alright, let's see here. Let's back it up. Oh no! That's not good. Like I said earlier, I'm not the best at this. So this the this one's the this is the charm. Third time. Yep, it's going straight in. Straight in. Straight in. We're gonna do it. There we go. Alright. Brake. Hazards off. Lights off. Truck off. Let's detach the trailer. Excellent motorcycles delivered from Olso to Ar Arborg. 464 kilometers, 20 hours and 32 minutes taken. 200 liters exactly of fuel consumed. And that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. As well, I'll have a link to our channel on the Discord server and description below. With that being said, hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.